coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, man, I appreciate the love. Bah, 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 boom, I appreciate the support. 33, man, 33 years of prison stories, man, 33 years of prison stories, we out here, we rolling, we in the mix, we in the mix, man, I think we a couple of hundred away from 85K, uh, I was saying in the morning, mud this morning, you know, 15 more K and, uh, you know, we'll get 100K, but, you know, don't look like that's gonna happen, you know, for my birthday, I, it would have been a great, great, great present. You know, to get that plaque, you know, hand that over to Mama Pam, you know, show that I've been out here working, changed my life and trying to do the right thing. But uh, it'll come. It'll come. It just won't be on my birthday, man. Unless y'all get out there and get busy, you know, with 85,000 people, man. If each one of y'all get one friend, man, to go sub, man, take their phone and sub, man. We in there like Al McNair. You dig? But uh, it is what it is, man. Y'all do what you do. I appreciate the support either way. Everybody who is in here, the 84 plus, man, big love to each and every one of y'all, man, 33 times, you know. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate everybody who rock with me uh, on the morning mud, which uh, <laughs> y'all done had me cutting up on there, man. We just be having fun on there, just trying to get some positive energy flowing in the morning time to take off your day with, man, so you can just start off positive and hopefully, you know, you can finish up positive, man. You know, make every day a good day, man. Because we're alive, we're free, and we out here, man, in the universe, man. So we got to make the best of it. We're here for a short time, man. Not a long time. So, man, we got to make the best of it, man. So big love to everybody who support me. Big love to everybody who come over there on Twitch at night. We uh, cranking up over there, man. We we, we, we getting uh, more and more people to come in there every night, man. And we just same thing, man. We starting the day off with the positive energy in the morning mud. We finishing the day off with the positive energy in the um in the Twitch, man. So y'all come over there and rock with me. Uh, today, man, I don't know, man. I think I was watching a documentary last night about Indiana, um, Indiana State Prison, man. It just put me in the frame of mind where I got this, you know, on on, on my uh, you know, on my on my brain this morning, man. Just to think about, you know, like I say, when you first come into prison, man, and all the things that you're going to go through and all the uh, people that you're going to meet. But this new generation, man, they coming in here and they getting with this gang stuff, man. <clears throat> and they getting with this gang stuff to me, more or less, if you won't end this stuff when you was out on the street, it's kind of like you getting into it for protection. A lot of dudes come in and they join the gang because they see that the gang is moving in, you know, in groups and bulks. So... I think that make them feel more uh, secure, more safe, even when they're young. But the thing about it is this. Penitentiary, man, is like, like I told you, man, once some information get out about you, that information can help you or hurt you, man, in a lot of different ways, depending upon what the information is. And a lot of these dudes, these young dudes, man, they, they even older dudes, they coming in there when they got these crazy charges, man. You know what I'm saying? And when I say crazy charges, I mean in the penitentiary, any charge you got against some kids or some, you know, some, 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 uh, some, uh, uh, you know, sexual assault on women, you know, things like that, man, they don't really fare well in prison. And plus, you know, a lot of dudes, like I told y'all before, you don't know what a dude case is because ain't nobody coming in there talking about a case. But if it's somebody from your neighborhood, somebody from your neck of the woods, and they know you and they know what your case is, depending upon if they like you or not, they'll put that out there to everybody else, you know. So that's why a lot of dudes come in prison, man, and they be meek, you know what I'm saying? They be meek and they be quiet because they might got a funny case and they don't want to run a file of nobody that they think might know and they, them, them people put that out there because after that, you know what I'm saying, ain't no telling what may happen. So... I can remember when I was on River North, right? And um, the gangs up there is just like everywhere else, man. They thick. They thick up there, man. The Wallace Ridge, Red Onion, King Mountain. All them jumps up there in the mountains, they thick with the gangs. Because I think they try to migrate all the gangs up there. 
it is really not working because they still on Flatland too. But I think that's their that's their objective. Eventually, I think it's gonna be you know in the mountains. It's gonna be all gangs. You know what I'm saying? So they'll be amongst each other, which still ain't good because they ain't gonna do nothing but hurt each other. You know. Um, but yeah, I can remember man being on River North and uh. They were so unorganized because it's a new prison. I told you, when you go to a new prison, man, the rules and regulations is, they up in the air, man. Them people don't know what they doing. If you got a lot of young dudes in prison, they don't know what they doing. It's up to the old heads to really run that prison and set the tone of how things supposed to go because if the administration don't know and the young dudes don't know, only people who've been in the penitentiary as long as it's the old guy. So they really be teaching the rules and setting the tone of how the prison going to go. You did? So, I remember they was giving out jobs, man, and they had these dudes, man. They was so unorganized. They had these dudes working at nighttime, right? Buffing the floors and waxing the floors because at nighttime, it ain't really no movement. So, they had these dudes buffing the floors and waxing the floors at night. But they also had these dudes cleaning out the counselors in sergeant's office. At night time. With no one in there. Man, you know, these criminals. <laughs> these are criminals, man. Man, these dudes in there going through the desk, reading paperwork, looking in files, stealing what they could steal, they could be used or sold back on the block. It was crazy. It was it was unthinkable. Dudes was like, man, yeah, man, they be, they be having the council's office open and everything, man. We get to go back there, man, and we got to clean, dump the trash. But no supervision. No supervision. So dudes was taking it upon theirself. A couple of them in particular. They was going up in dudes' files and pulling their paperwork and finding out what they was locked up for. Now, if they ran across somebody that had a crazy case, they were selling that information to dudes in the block. Especially a dude that might have been beefing or you thought he was beefing with somebody and then you find out he had a crazy case. They'll pull it foul. Or, and, or it's the dudes is beefing with somebody who think dude look a little funny, act a little weird. He'll say, oh, when you go back there tonight, man, pull up such and such name, woo, woo, woo. They'll try to get your name, pull his name, see what he locked up for. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. And dudes was doing it, man. So let me tell you something. That's a deadly game, man. That paperwork is deadly, man. Because if you got any skeletons in your stuff or what you locked up for or what you came in this penitentiary for, and them dudes find out, man, it ain't going to be nothing pretty, man. It ain't going to be nothing pretty, especially if you got an enemy. If you got an enemy on the compound and he get that hold of that information and he want to see you hurt, even if he ain't got the heart to hurt you or come at you, he going to put that information out there to somebody who might have the heart to come and hurt you. You know what I'm saying? And it's a crazy thing in the penitentiary for dudes to be judging dudes for what they locked up for. I, it, to me, it's crazy. When you really break it down to a simple, because we all locked up for something. Now, granted, those type of charges are a little crazy, but you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 a, it's a thin line, man. It's a thin line. You committed a crime. They committed a crime. Their crime may be worse than yours, but a crime is a crime. We all in here together. We all trying to survive. We all trying to get out. But that that's in a perfect world. But that's not how it's judged in prison. You know what I'm saying? If you got sexual assault on a woman or a sexual assault on a woman or you or, or you were beating, beating a woman up or you did something to a kid, Man, them people is not, yeah, that's different, man. Especially if you in there and you done established a name for yourself or people giving you some type of respect or, you know what I'm saying, and then they find out that. Nah, it's different, man. It's different. So, I can remember this young dude, man, he was a, he was, he was a gang member, right? And um, he, out of the block we had, we had quite a few of them in there, too, maybe... Man, you talking about a block about 80 some people. Man, we might have had about a, a dove. We might have had about 20, anywhere from 17 to 20 some gang members in there, right? So he was like one of the, uh, you know, top dudes in that joint. You know what I'm saying? A little shot caller, what they might call it. Man, they went up in there and they found that paperwork on him. And it won't, it won't pretty. 
it won't pretty man and dude brought it back now dude taking a chance too by bringing it back and trying to put that information out there too because that dude that you putting that information out about he may take dead aim on you or he may use that as use you as his scapegoat he may use you as out if he know that he getting ready to come down on him he might take dead aim on you and take the out route. You know what I'm saying? He'll take the out route. He'll go do something to you so vicious and so so violent that he going to get shipped above the compound anyway and never had to face the backlash of what's going to come to him for what dude exposed. He'll get you for exposing. See what I'm saying? So you taking a chance too, but them dudes was doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I know one dude in particular that was doing it. In fact, he is actually in re-entry now and get ready to come home after 20 some years. When he get home, I'm going to try to bring him to y'all. I ain't going to say his name. I'm going to let him bring him to y'all let him tell y'all himself. But he was one of the ones that was doing it. He was laughing about it. He, was, he won't trip. I was like, man, you keep going back there getting this paperwork on these people, man. He was like, they ain't had no been doing it. They ain't had no, you know what I'm saying? He was like that. But anyway, he brought this stuff out about this gang dude, man. And this gang dude supposed to have had been messing with this lady who he said later on that it supposed to be his wife, fiance, or whatever, whatever. But she had like a 12, 13 year old, you know, daughter. And he's supposed to have been doing something to her or doing something with her. By which you cannot say consent because they're they're minor. But by consent or without consent, he was he was caught doing something with her. That's what he was locked up for, right? So that's, you know, statutory. So they, they, they had all of this in the paper. It's in your counselor's files. Whatever you locked up for is in your counselor's files. Whatever charges you had since you've been in the penitentiary is in your counselor's files. Them dudes was going in there getting in the counselor's files, reading dudes' paperwork. And once they hit some, there was gold, bingo. They balling it up, putting it in their shirt pocket and putting it up in their joint and Coming out there, my, and, and they got that information. Now they coming on the pod, and they selling that information. See what I'm saying? So they they found that out about him, that he supposed to have been messing with his girlfriend, wife, whatever it was, daughter. You know what I'm saying? They found out how it was. He ended up going, getting locked up, going to court, got convicted of that. That's what he locked up for. But yet he back here, he in the game, he calling shots. So they give it to the other dude that's supposed to be the shot callers in the same game. So they read it, they blown away. They don't want to believe it, but they reading it. They don't want to accept it, but it's right there. They don't know what to do, but they know they got to do something. It was crazy, you know what I'm saying? So then it started floating around it. Hey, man, dudes getting dudes paperwork back there, man. Dudes going in there getting... Yeah, you can see the tension in the block. You can see dudes getting tensed up. And when you see the dudes getting tensed up, you know it's them type of dudes that might got something that they don't want to be found out. Dudes were scared. Man, listen, dudes were so scared, man. I'm telling you, man. Dudes started snitching. Dudes started snitching, man. Dudes started writing notes to the administration telling them that y'all need to lock the council's office at night. Dudes going back there getting dudes paperwork. You know them jokers had some bad charges. They was getting notes. They cut it out. It didn't last too long after certain dudes had got exposed. But it was enough of them that got exposed that it was, you know what I'm saying, it was going down. So dudes that still had something to be exposed, they must have been nervous purpose, man. Because I'm telling you, they, they started getting notes. They started suspending them dudes that was working at nighttime for until they came up with a way to make sure that they had all the doors locked. They had to change the whole protocol. But the only reason they knew, because dudes started writing them. But the ones that was writing them had to be the ones that had some crazy charges. And they probably was sitting back like this. You know what I'm saying? Because they done, they done stopped it now. They done put a stop to it. You know, because them dudes was on it, man. Them dudes was coming back with paperwork every night on at least two or three dudes. Two or three dudes, man, in an 80 block joint. So it's like, man, that many of you jokers up in here doing some freak nasty stuff out there? Yes, it was. It was. It was crazy. It was crazy, man. They even said that, <coughs> excuse me, they bought a piece of paperwork back out of the council's office. They said out of the 84 um, dudes that was on the block, they said it was like, 30 some of them had some type of sexual uh, charge 
30 some out of 80 some people, man. Yeah, they, they have that stuff down there. They had it written on boards. The counselors, because there's a counselor, ain't no convict or inmate got no business in there unassisted, unattended to. But they was letting them back there, man. And these dudes was coming back with all this information. And just like everything else in the penitentiary, they selling information. They selling it. Hey, man, uh, Hey, 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 they pulling up on the blood dudes, the crip dudes, the, the GD. Hey, man, I got some paperwork for you, man. You, yeah. Hey, you ain't gonna believe it. Well, man, ain't no, no, you ain't got no paperwork on none of my dudes. All my dudes are fish. All my dudes, man. Who, who? Man, I, I ain't trying to put it out there, man. Let's, I mean, if you gonna pay me, I'm gonna give it to you, though. But I don't want my name, boy. They was going like that. And these dudes was negotiating. And putting dudes' life on the line when they put that paperwork out there, man. Putting their life on the line. So the dude that had got caught, they said he's supposed to be messing with the young girl. They didn't know how to handle it. They didn't want to accept it. You know what I'm saying? So they had a big old meeting. These dudes had a big old meeting where you see them all at the tables and they surrounding them. And they start doing it like this. Hey, look. You know they got dude out there going back there pulling paperwork, man. So I'm asking all of y'all right now, is any one of us, because you know we can't be represented like that, is any one of us got some funny charges that we need to talk about? We need to address that now for dude come back and expose somebody, because if we do, and without y'all telling us, it's going to be penalties to pay for that, man. So I'm asking all of y'all, is anybody got some charges they need to explain? You know what I'm saying? So that's how they did that because, but they already got their paperwork on, dude. They trying to give him an out. They, they, they trying to say something and explain it. He stayed silent. And his silence made them eventually, look, yo, yo, bro, you ain't got nothing you want. What you mean, bro? I ain't got nothing I want to say. What you mean, bro? What you, what you talking about, bro? I mean, what is it, bro? That right there was telling. Say, bro, man, they say they got paperwork on you. But they ain't, but they ain't what? what? What kind of paperwork they got on me, bro? What kind of paperwork, bro? Bro, we got the paperwork, bro. We want you to explain, bro. That's what this meeting about, bro. Bro, we want to know what's up with this, bro. Oh, man, what? what let, well, let me see what you got. He asked and let you see what you got as if you got more than that because you should know what they got if they saying they got it. So he said, let me see, bro, let me see. So they give him the paperwork. He read the paperwork. Now, whether he was quick on the draw or quick on his feet or whatever, he had excuses, man. He said, look, oh, bro, bro, no, yeah, hey, look, this just one of my charges. Where the rest of the charges at? This ain't even my main charge. This ain't really what I'm locked up for. Woo, woo, woo. Now, that's something that, listen, man, this is my ex-wife, daughter. She ain't like me. She was trying to get rid of me, and she was trying to break me up with her mama, and she... Found that junk man and they gave me a case, but they dismissed that. I'm locked up for something else. That's not what the paperwork say. That's not what the paper the paperwork say. You got this amount of time for this charge right here. But he disputing it and it's in black and white and it come out of council's off. Dudes get man, this is this is 2023. <laughs> now, but even then, since the 2020, man, dudes can dock the paperwork. They can definitely dock the paperwork. Dudes can write up something right now and say this, that, and third. I see all the stuff they be posting on uh, social media right now. Have you know Tyson and Diddy kissing? Tell me they, they, they can dock the paperwork because of the age we living in. They're not gonna handle no dock the paperwork in a counselor's files. That's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? That is the information that they got to go by so they'll know who they dealing with when they sit down in front of that person. This is why they got that paperwork. So, yeah, know who they're dealing with. It's going to have everything about you in there. It's going to have your pre-sentence report. It's going to have your court cases. It's going to have your prison record until you all the way up until you got there. It's going to have everything in there. It transfers as you transfer. When you go to another institution, that paperwork goes to another institution that ends up in another council hand and administration hand. So, they'll know who they're dealing with. You see what I'm saying? And um, so, the paperwork was a fish. You know what I'm saying? And they knew it was a fish. So he started trying to explain it all. So they kind of like listening to him, but they know he BSing. But they listening to him because he was a shot caller in the, in the jump. Then he turned his anger into, who got it? Who bought you this? See what I'm saying? Somebody that, like, they trying to expose me. Who who gave you this? And, and they like, bro, we can't tell you that, bro. No, you, what you mean you can't tell me, bro? We family, bro. 
you supposed to let me know, bro. Somebody trying to put a bad name on me, bro. I can explain this, bro. I'm telling you, I can get on the phone right now and call my wife, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, Yeah, bro, this ain't even real right here, though. This made up, bro. This some revenge type stuff, bro. He's snapping. Who bought the paperwork, bro? I need to know who bought the paperwork, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't want to go deal with him. Just like I say, he going to get out. Because he know the heat coming down on him now. He know because you in this organization. You know how y'all move because you part of it. <laughs> you one of the ones who call it the moves. See what I'm saying? So he nervous, purvis, man. He, he, he nervous, purvis, dog. And you can see it. You know what I'm saying? He's sweating and everything. He arguing. Dude's like, calm down, calm down, bro. You know, Cause we, we, you know what I'm saying? We up in River North. Them people see you shooting, they bow. They shoot you for arguing loud like that. Making that type of aggression and movement. Man, them people up there busting you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they will bust you for that. Oh, sign of aggression. Bow. Yeah, like talk. Target practice. <laughs> bow. Get on the ground. Yeah, so. He animated though, you know what I'm saying? So they, they look, calm down, bro. We gonna get to the bottom of it, bro. Let us handle it, bro. But we need to have your explanation, bro. We need to have your explanation. We, you know what I'm saying? We need to know that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you represent us, bro, and we got to represent you, bro. And we can't have, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know that. But now you explain it, bro. Okay, bro. We we gonna get to the bottom of it, bro. It is the bottom. That's the bottom. I won't know who did it, cause it's like somebody trying to sabotage me. Somebody trying to put something bad out on me. You know what I'm saying? So he he protests. You know what I'm saying? One, 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 one of them philosophers, man, I read so many of them. One of them say, thou, bust, thou, thou does protest too loudly. And meaning like if you protest it so loudly, bro, you got something to hide. You know what I'm saying? But little do he know which was, you know, befuddling to me. Why would little did you know? And you part of the main leading group in this organization. They already decided they gonna they gotta give you the business. <laughs> yeah, they gotta give you the business. They just playing it all because they out of they gotta give you the business. They know they gotta give you the business to keep their name intact. See what I'm saying? Because if not, they saying that they represent that. They stand behind it. But their whole thing is they don't stand behind none of this type of uh, kid stuff or sex stuff or woo woo woo. They represent this. You know that's what they say. So now. Either you will deal with him or people going to start looking at y'all with a little less respect. And, you know, you're lucky to get it anyway because you're young up in here. All these dudes are young, man. You know what I'm saying? But they already plotting to get him. And I think he kind of like knew but didn't know. So he was like, man, yeah, all right, all right, bro. But we, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely got, bro, y'all got to tell me who did that. And then he started screaming on dude. Hey, all y'all that work out there at night, I'm going to tell you, it ain't but a couple of y'all. Whichever one of y'all brought that paperwork back and trying to expose me, I got something for you. I'm telling you, because you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what the facts is. I'm, I got something for you. He's, he's trying to shake them dudes up. He want to go. He want, He's looking for an exit plan. He's trying to get up out there. You dig what I'm saying? So they're like, calm down, bro. Calm down, bro, bro, bro. Bro, calm down. We got this, bro. All the time, they plotting on him. They going to get him. They gonna get them just to show his grits his groceries. They gonna get them, and they got them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got them, and he knew it was coming. So, you know, the wreck go on throughout the wreck, and then when the, when 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 the, when the junk go on, and we got to go and lock up. We go and lock up. We come back out of lock up. You know what I'm saying? They talking to everybody, talking, couple of them churching up. But I can see already there's so much tension in here just from him barking on dudes like that. It's already tension in the block where dudes is tight. You know what I'm saying? The dudes that work at night, they tight. They don't know. The joker coming at me. The joker to put me out there. The joker said, whoever actually bought the paper, I know he was super tight. He, he nervous, nervous. Because he don't know what's going on. They could all turn on him. You see what I'm saying? It's just a dangerous game. Everything in penitentiary is dangerous. It's a dangerous game, man. I'm telling you, the penitentiary, I'm telling you, it's dangerous. Because you don't know who, who, what's happening or what's going to pop off. So everybody up in here tight now. So they go to him like, look, bro, this don't dead. We got to the bottom of it, man. We understand what you said was true, dude, dude. But blah, 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 blah. Look, we going to say we going to bring the dude in here who got the paperwork, man. And, you know, you and him just handle your business one-on-one, -on -one, blah, blah, blah. He like, yeah, bring him to me. Bring him to me. Because, yeah, we got that, bro. We got that, bro. You just go, go up and bro say We going to bring him down there and we going to get it straight. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He goes down up in there like a fool thinking that they going to bring dude down there.
man, he go down up in that cell and go on up in there and wait. It won't. He probably won't even a minute. <laughs> Forty five seconds. Uh, thirty eight seconds. Uh, fifty two seconds. Won't even a whole minute. Man, them dudes out there acting like they playing cards, acting like they doing this. As soon as he went up in there, boom, two, 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 two. Man, about about twelve brothers went in there and they punished them up in there. They punished them up in there. All you heard, hold up, bro, bro, this, bro, this me, bro, bro. All you heard is bro, bro, this, bro, that. The man, them dudes put it on them, dog. They put it on them. They put it on them, man. They was hitting them with the Bethlehem. They clucking them with the lock in the sock. They kicking them. They stomping them. They calling them pedo. You know what I'm saying? We don't stand for this. Bro, bro. All you hearing is bro. Bro and ah, oop, oop, ah. Yeah, they, they put it on. They started coming up out the set. Coming up out the set. Because you got one of them out there watching for the people. You know what I'm saying? Watching the tower. You know what I'm saying? Boom. They punished them, man. They came up out the cell. And then, once they get up out the cell, he and they'll bust up, but that ain't his cell. They can't leave him in the cell. So they waiting again and looking at the booth and wait till the people in the booth is gone. And then three of them go in there, grab them, drag them out, and dump them right there on the side of the pod. He laying right there in the pod. Other ones go in there, get to cleaning up the blood and getting all that up. And he laid out there, man, like a sack of potatoes, man, bleeding like a, a pig. You know what I'm saying? And this day, bro. <laughs> This day, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, just like that, they'll turn on you. And it ain't like, like I say, he, the charges they saying is crazy. Don't get me wrong. That's crazy. But it ain't like each and every one of them ain't got a charge. Ain't like you know each and every one of their charge. So, who is they to judge? And they done already accepted you as a bro. And they done already accepted you. You almost like a leader up in this joint. So, but that just goes to show you that game. Man, they, they'll turn on you. Like a rabbit dog, man, if they turned on the bro. You know what I'm saying? In a day. <laughs> In a day. And send them to medical. Probably had to get on a, 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 a trip to, to, to the big hospital. You know, maybe by helicopter. We don't know because they locked us down when they sent them out there like that and came and got them. Locked us down. You know what I'm saying? But he came out there in a pool of blood and he, with all them jokers in there, he was hurt bad. Real bad. You know what I'm saying? Real bad. By his own people. By his own people. You know what I'm saying? Now, who knows if the charge, the charge is a charge because it's in the council's office. But if it happened like he said it did, who knows? That's street stuff. Only he know that. They going by what's in that council's office. You see what I'm saying? And they won't try to hurt nothing from him. But that's they bro, though. That's they bro, though. Man, they almost killed they bro. And I ain't not not near one of them get locked up. Ain't not near one of them. And it ain't no doubt in my mind on River North, they ran that camera back and saw who was in that cell. But they know what he locked up for. And they gonna ignore that junk. They gonna act like they ain't see nobody come out there on the camera. They don't care. Cause they know what he locked up for. And they secretly hating on him as well. Cause they don't like them type of charges. So you out on your own when you up in here. Like you always are in the penitentiary. Ain't no gang gonna save you. Ain't no administration gonna save you. Ain't no bro gonna save you. None of that. You on your own in the penitentiary. And he was on his own. And he went to the hospital on his own. And he had to try to heal and survive on his own. Ain't none of that in the penitentiary, man. You got to save you. Straight like that. No matter whether it's right or wrong, you got to save you. And these dudes coming in this penitentiary and think that you get with a gang, you get with an organization, you get with it, and that's going to be your savior? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I seen this. I was right there with this. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy, man, but that's just how quick they'll turn on you in the penitentiary. That's just how quick the penitentiary will turn on you. You know what I'm saying? Penitentiary don't love nobody, man. It's a hate factory. It's a hate factory, man. Man, them people find out something you did on the street when you was 12 years old. You told on somebody, and they say you a snitch, and you and their organization, and they start whooping you because you done told on somebody at 12 that your mama told you to tell on or she was going to whoop your butt. They still ain't going to have it. You know what I'm saying? When half of them probably done told too, but don't nobody know. <laughs> it's the one that they find out about that's going to pay the price. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy because you can literally have somebody stomping you out 
aiding in, trying to destroy you, take you out, hitting you with the Bethlehem, kicking you, and he got the same charges. He got the same charges, but it ain't been told. It ain't been exposed. And that's literally what happened. <laughs> that's literally what happened. Because one of the dudes that was involved with beating him down and stomping him out and putting him back, it later on turned out he had the exact same charges. The exact same charges, man. But that's a whole nother story. But the moral of the story is, man, ain't nobody going to save you in prison. Ain't nobody going to save you in prison. And karma going to come back to you, man, for whatever you did in the dark. It's going to come out in the light. You know what I'm saying? It is, man. You know what I'm saying? And when you messing with kids and stuff like that, penitentiary ain't the place to be, period. <laughs> period. Let's get that understood. That, let's get that clear. But when you got some stuff where you done, you know, sexually assaulted some 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 females or some young kids, penitentiary is going to be that much worse for you if it's found out. And them be the dudes in there, they be so super solid. And you think they scared or you think they weak. And some of them, truth be told, can actually rumble. Some of them, truth be told, actually got some gorilla in them. They just got that freak nasty stuff in them and that's what got them there. You understand? That's what got them there. But once that's found out, man, you make no mistake about it, man. People going to take issue with you about it. You know what I'm saying? That's why the dudes don't talk about their cases in prison. They don't talk about it because a lot of them got some stuff that they don't want to talk about. Everybody made mistakes. Everybody broke the law. Everybody did something. They definitely had no business doing from stealing some gum to stealing a Ferrari to stealing $2 to stealing a $10 million. Somebody did something they had no business doing, and that's why they put you up in there. Besides the flim flammery of, the, of all the innocent people in there because, you know, contrary to popular belief, it is some of them that's innocent in there. Shout out to Big Van Burton, my, my, my dog. You know, 33 years for something he ain't do. Shout out to uh, Catch Mo, 27 years for something he ain't do. So it's it's people in there like that. But more often than than, than not, you in there because you did something wrong. Or you was with somebody who did something wrong, with, which makes you wrong. But, you know, it, it, it just comes down to, man, you know, you're going to have to fend for yourself in there, man. You It ain't no gang. Ain't nobody going to save you, dog. Let alone administration. They're not going to save you. They'll say you out. <laughs> for real, for real. As soon as you get the beefing with one of the COs that don't like you, he go looking all up in your paperwork and see if he can find something to just drop that information out there to the population so you can get destroyed by them and he ain't got to lose his job. See what I'm saying? So it's crazy, man. It's just a crazy environment, man, that you don't want to end up in, that you don't want to be in because uh, it, it ain't living. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not living, man. So, you know, anyway, like I say, man, I just wanted to drop that on y'all because I had that in my brain from watching that documentary. But it's just another part of the penitentiary, man. You know, reason 2476 not to go to penitentiary, man. You did. So, uh, anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Talk to me. I talk back. I need the comments for I can talk back. You know, give me your opinion, man. What you think of it. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Uh, let me know, man. Give me suggestions. What y'all want to hear, man? Spark a memory in me. You did? But uh, anyway, I appreciate you all, man. And like I said, it's a blessing in every lesson, man. It's a blessing in every lesson, man. And the blessing is that them dudes ain't take his life. Because if they had took his life, they would have had, you know, prices to pay too. However many went up in that cell would have got that same charge. They would have got that same charge. You did? If it would have came out like that, if they would have, um, you know, took his life. Because even the administration, even though they didn't want to tell because they knew what type of charge he had, they would have had to say something if he had lost his life. Because if not, they would have lost their job. You did. So self-preservation is the first law of nature. They would have protected their job, their livelihood, their income before they protect you. So you know what I'm saying. That's that's just how it is, man. But anyway, man, talk to me in the comments, man. Y'all be safe. Be, be smart, man. Make good decisions, man. Enjoy your day, man. And by all means, man. <laughs> Duck them hooks, man. They out there. Bang. Yeah. The bank is special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure delicious. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality. 
you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.